Are we gonna go to this thing? You wanna come? I was just gonna run in. Run out. Yeah. I mean, it's at Crystal's, right? Uh huh. I gotta go home and change first. Sure. Well, wait for me. I'll come. Um. No, I have to meet with Chuck about Cherry. Someone wrote something. Someone actually wrote an article? No. I don't know. Chuck's on top of it. I really like your hands. You have really nice hands. Would you like to dig your nails? I really like your nails. I like your hands. Oh, yeah. Hey, how you doing? I'm oh, great. Oh, you got little runners. Oh. So, um. I can't believe I didn't say anything last night. I, I must have been some kind of drunk. I, I was a little embarrassed. Don't worry about it. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. It could happen to anyone. I was worried. Where's Ken? Who? Don't you have a husband? Oh, no. He's long gone. Oh. Because oh, I no, thought... No, no, no. He's gone. He's, all his stuff is gone. It's over. But... If he was around last night, he would have kicked your ass to a bloody pulp and thrown you out the balcony. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no, really. What happened? Uh, well, you'll find out soon enough. As soon as I have a story together. It's Cherry. What? A magazine. We're going to have people, like artists, write about what they do. We might have a ballerina write about boxing. So, you could write about something. You could write about what you do. I don't know them even. Oh, shut up. You do. You know Chuck and Crystal. You're always like, I mean, Crystal's so cool. Crystal lives off the fat. Yeah, maybe I say that. <laughs> well, yeah, Crystal's so cool. Crystal runs around. I don't know. I just want to drink a small one. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're teetotalers. So we're going to go see your secret teetotaler friends? You know, I talked to Stan today. Stan the realtor? No, Stan the international diamond thief. Yeah, Stan our realtor. And he says the place in Sullivan Square is still open if we want it. Great, great. Let's do it. You always say great, and tomorrow you're going to call me up and freak out about it. Yeah, and I was kissing her neck and her chest and, well, you know. You know? What? And, and what happened? Well, I think I might have spent a little too much time on her breasts. On her breasts? Yeah. Yeah, well, because she was nudging me, and I think I might have fallen asleep there. You fell asleep? Yeah, on her breasts, but... You fell asleep on her breasts? A few times, but... Cat. But the... On the way home. Well, you the worst asleep. part... Yeah. Like the Egyptians. Not the lower caste, but the higher. At this party, they'd be walking around drinking date wine, ass out. No jewelry? I definitely had jewelry. Are you still working out? You know, I recognize some of these girls. Who the party? Yeah. Wasn't that your little girl over there? The one you were dancing with? Well, uh, what's her name? Saying all those signs? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, well, didn't expect to see the two of you together. 
Why? What did you tell her? Nothing. It was years ago. I had a boyfriend. I don't believe you. Oh, the Hungarian? I know what you're into. That's unhygienic. And you're obsessed. Don't even talk to me. I can't believe you're here. This is really exciting. I've been going through the entire party, talking to everyone in that magazine. Nothing distracts you, Jenny. Exactly. This other girl I spoke to, she just got back from Malaysia, and she was a missionary, aid worker, I don't know, something. The point is, I, I asked her, do you want to write something? And she said, sure, she'll write something about the art of being wild. Oh. What's going on with you and that little girl? She's having adventures. She wants to have adventures. No more adventures for you, eh, Taylor? You're a bit too crusty for adventures. Hey, sweetie. We met at the party last night. Oh, yeah. Did you have a good time? Yes, thanks. It looked like you were having a good time. Can I put cherry on my resume? Sure. I mean, even before I write anything, because you know I'll write something. Don't worry about it. No one has done anything yet. Hey. Hey, she has real food. <laughs> I love you. Come on, let's go. You can you say hi? Let's drive somewhere and get a train. Some little town, water. In a couple minutes. A couple minutes we'll go with the cup and some shellfish for you. Mm. A little scuttling. A little <laughs> thing. <laughs> thing. Yeah. Why stay? I mean, what do you want to do? I want to talk about some cherry stuff. You already talked to Chuck. I just want just a couple more little cherry things. Do you want one? No. It's empty. And you see uh, April tonight? No, no, I haven't seen her at all. She is fucking looking hot. Oh, no, I see her. she's looking good. Is she still with Steve? I don't know. Yeah. Oh. It should be almost like <laughs> intruding. Steve, what are you doing following me in here? What if I have to use the bathroom, Steve? Are you gonna watch? Seth, what do you want to talk to me about? Sure. Really? Yeah. You followed me to the bathroom to talk about Cherry. Did she write an article for us? That'd be great. <laughs> I think it'd be great if April walked in here right now. <laughs> you still work at the SCA? Yeah. You try about art. From the point of view of a museum security guard? From the point of view of a work of art. <laughs> I cannot believe you just said that. Is anybody in there? Hide. <laughs> I am not dealing with this bullshit. One minute! Um, is Steve? No, I, I can't honestly say that mosquitoes evolved to replicate dust. And they, they, you know, they, well, they, I guess they float like dust. It, they do float, you know? Dust. That's why wings evolve, right? Precisely. So, I'm right. Uh, dude, you're hogging the joint. Don't talk to me for the rest of the night. I don't want to fight about this here, but you are not staying with me tonight. I'll call you tomorrow. So, Noel, eh? Oh, last year. It was nothing, really. I'm over it. You don't look over it. Dude, it was nothing, really. 
I'm a little lonely recently. Do you think it's having a girlfriend make you feel any less lonely? We live as we dream, alone. Joseph Conrad. Solitary wanker. Solitary wanker. Sounds like a Whistler painting. It's video art, but it's good. It stars a bunch of horses, Clydesdales, and they're charging at you in front of a bunch of trees. The people watching? No, 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 the horses. And they keep charging at you, but the thing is, they don't get any farther away from the trees, and they don't get any closer to the audience. It's like all my hopes and dreams fall up into one. It's just amazing. How, how long is it? Five hours. <laughs> I mean, you guys have been going out for how long? And still he lies to you? What's that? No, I know, I know. It's just, when he's good, he can be so good. I mean, it's just been a long time, and I just kept dreaming. I'm done, you know? I'm just done. I'm gonna go buy a Mastiff dog. You know, with those really big ones? And I'm gonna throw dinner parties by myself. And I'm gonna do whatever I wanna do. And I'm gonna do whatever the Mastiff wants to do. Are you gonna sick it on him? That's an idea. At least he'll love me. No. You don't wanna hear this. No, no. I don't have anything else to do. Hey. You want me to get you another one? And, um, then I'll give you a ride home. What's going on? I, I didn't even think you'd bring her here. Oh, we're moving in together. We have a realtor. Really? Well, that's interesting, considering that last time we talked, I was really under the impression that you weren't uh, ready for that kind of thing. I love her. Crystal, I just don't want to be with her all the time. Other people make me happy. Being with other people makes me happy. Being with specific other people makes me happy. And I want to be able to do that. It's really interesting, but you know what I think? I think that uh, being with that many specific other people is no happiness at all. What about April? What's wrong with this? I have no ideas. But you know what I do know? I've got some crystal. What do you say we go outside and pop the cork? My liver has your name on it. Let's go. Someone left their underwear out here. Yeah, at least someone's having a good time. Think about the early 80s. My first kiss. Driving around, listening to music. Making out boys in bathrooms. It doesn't seem like that long ago. Well, you're still doing it. Yeah, I guess it does seem like it's been quite a while. Why don't you write an article for Cherry about it? Will you stop it with Cherry already? The party's over. No, see, the way it works is I'll talk about Cherry. And you look at my mouth moving and think how soft and sweet it would be to kiss me. Is that how it works? Okay. He saw me a couple of times before he worked up the courage. He said it was like being in a snow globe waiting there for me. I guess I broke his quiet. 
And he asks, like, may I walk you home, miss? I didn't know what to say. I didn't even tell him about Ken until we got to the door, and I remember sitting there under the window. I'm like, you know, my husband is sleeping up there. And he starts laughing, and I'm going, shh, and then he's shushing me. And well, you know, things happened. <laughs> Everything happened. And we were right there under the window. I mean, I was thinking maybe Ken's watching. Then I go upstairs and I take a shower and I was so awake. God, I hadn't been that awake in forever. And I look over to Ken on the bed and he's like sleeping like a big lump in the bed. And I'm, I'm thinking, I so love him. I just feel my entire heart reach out and hold him like a hand. Well, that lasted for about a day. So I thought, you know, I could keep going on just doing strangers in the window and loving him like this. God, I even caught something that night. I mean, everybody has it. Don't worry. It's gone. It's done. But, you know, it occurred to me that he's got all sorts of things going on inside of him. All sorts of feelings that I don't even know about. And I don't want to know. That's it. I knew it was, it was over. to do.